right from the time I was a little child. I was inclined towards creativity because my family has been from the creative background. It was my grandpa's dream that he sees one of the grandchildren who gets into this field. I kept that dream going high and finally I decided to do my commercial art and major in illustration. That's when I moved on with uh, the focus and worked with a lot of agencies and then finally reached out and said okay this is my dream to create a company of my own and different of course and that's how the Circus Works came in being. Your formative years were in Bombay but then you moved to Pune. How do you see the work culture being different in these cities especially for women? There's not too much of a difference. Um, I think Pune is a very growing market. In fact we have a lot of Bombay clientele that is moving to agencies in Pune because of the freshness of ideas and the talent of course. In your opinion, is Pune still conservative when it comes to accepting women in positions of power? No, I don't think so at all because I think Pune is a very receptive market to women. In fact, there are more women working out here compared to any other city as well. Women as uh, leaders, women as uh, entrepreneurs, women as um, you know employees. So now tell us about Circus Works, the company. How did you think of the name? You have a very interesting description online. When we came up with the name The Circus Works, we thought let's bring the talent together. What a circus really means to somebody right from a child to an adult is at the end of the day the same thing. A circus is mainly getting people to have varied uh, skill sets and talent that has come on one platform. We've primarily focused on the circus literally as to how the circus functions. There's chaos in the back but on the stage itself that's where you have a lot of syn synergy a lot of synchronization and yes uh, they leave people spellbound we are trying to get as much as talent and skill sets together where we are able to deliver the best quality services to our clients and give them some good messaging to take back with them you know when I first spoke to you until now you maintain that your team is your biggest strength do you see many women joining the advertising field now yes my team is the biggest strength and I have believed in them from day one we started off with a very very small team of about eight people when we started off about two and a half three years ago I think the growth of the company is purely because of the team it is they who have actually made me reach my dreams they have they are the ones who give me the confidence every day they're the drive to work in fact I think uh, initially we had a you know a majority of women we were women dominated until we reached a phase where we realized that no we do need to have a balance in our working culture as well but we've never had a problem in fact the woman power that we may call has really benefited the organization in a large way they're very confident people they're 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 very good with multitasking women working together we're able to relate to a lot of uh, discussions that we have internally taking this forward I would like to definitely give women um, being a woman of course give women a stronger platform out here but having said that I won't want to move away from the male domination as well how do you see Pune moving forward towards a digital future so we cannot move away from the conventional method of advertising you'll always have print communication as uh, you know a platform that will always stay but yes knowing the way the entire uh, globally how digital has picked up we have to lean towards advertising on the digital space uh, when we started off we were of course just purely focusing on print as a medium so uh, digital media has begun good couple of years ago and it's at its prime time right now and we are leveraging on this prime time and we're hoping to take digital forward you know they say the media is a boys club did you face any such stereotypical problems in your career when you started up it's not a boys club um, Maybe it's just a perception that has been created over the years with people but I think right from the time I was studying till today I have never faced a challenge being a woman. In fact I used it to my credit I would say because there were times when being a woman you are entertained, you're, you, you, know, you, you don't have people slamming down the phone on you or you know uh, uh, ignoring or avoiding you in any angle. So I have never personally faced the challenge and I think that's a message for all women that you know you got to use the women gender and your capacity to prove your best uh, to your advantage. And finally some advice to our budding entrepreneurs what does it feel like to run a startup? Oh I think it's fun you know when you start uh, doing something on your own especially when you know your only investment is actually your knowledge and uh, I think the ones who really have that knowledge and the capacity uh, and skill sets they should be the ones who should be super confident to take it forward. For the budding entrepreneurs, I would say that it's a very competitive world. You need to be different, but you should not eliminate the fact that you know you are uh, not just one person in the market, but the competition is what's going to help you grow.